Temperatures hit well below zero at times. It can be hard to see the positive in this weather, but not hard for everyone. This Time Warner Cable News reporter Seth Voorhees found out for us. Some breaks of sun return, but still a very cold day. Highs only in the single digits. It might seem hard to find the good in all of this. Lows will range anywhere from near zero to even single digits below zero. The beauty in this. Uh, minus two. I didn't even look for snowflakes. Not that Michael Paris has to look far. My relationship with winter is rather conflicted. I love it and I hate it. The hate part is obvious. With no wind, it's actually sort of tolerable. But the love for a winter day like this. It's beautiful in its own kind of way. Helps the photography professor at RIT see winter through a different lens. I hope we get a little snow off of the... Wandering around his driveway with a black piece of velvet on a cooking tray... My neighbors must think I'm crazy. Michael is collecting snowflakes. The idea becomes to transfer it to a microscope slide. Where he then focuses... and shoots. The images captured are spectacular. People are absolutely amazed. Uh, you know, nobody really looks at snow this way uh, with any kind of frequency. And no two snowflakes are alike. It's almost like freezer burn, small little ice growths that grow on top of the flake, much like frost grows on your ice cream in your freezer. Right now my glasses have fogged up, so seeing in the viewfinder is kind of a challenge. Paris says 15 to 20 degrees is the perfect temperature for snowflake photography. You wait for the snow, you watch the forecast, you read the newspapers, you check online. Some days... It's almost torturous to be this kind of a photographer. <laughs> some days are better than others. The fingers are what go first. But the outcome, that is the beauty found in winter's smallest wonders. I told you I'm obsessed. <laughs> Seth Voorhees. It's ridiculous. Time Warner Cable News.